Good evening. DNA was the main focus today in the trial against Fabian Gonzalez, but much of today's testimony created more questions than answers. No actual DNA evidence that was discussed today links Fabian Gonzalez to the items used to dismember 10-year-old Victoria Martins or to help conceal the crime. A DNA analyst did say a single sock had both Gonzalez and Victoria's DNA on it, but the defense quickly poked holes in that testimony. A DNA mixture of at least two individuals was obtained from item 1842-3B. The major DNA profile resolved from this mixture matches the DNA profile from Fabian Gonzalez. Did the tissue that you just described on the sock, was that consistent with the other tissue that we saw on the brown blanket and, the, and that we talked about? It was. Prosecutors are trying to prove that Gonzalez helped his cousin, Jessica Kelly, dismember Victoria after she was strangled at her West Side apartment back in 2016. But today, the DNA analyst testified that no other articles of clothing or swabs from Gonzalez's body tested positive for Victoria's DNA. She did confirm an unknown male's partial DNA profile across four different swabs of Victoria's back that did not match any of the 38 known male DNA profiles in this case. That includes Victoria's relatives, first responders, and Gonzalez. Prosecutors say those samples back up Kelly's story that an unknown man killed Victoria after he came to the apartment searching for Fabian Gonzalez. Everybody that you had a standard for was eliminated, including the defendant. Every male individual that I had a DNA standard for was eliminated. Argues that unknown DNA could have come from one of Victoria's friends at school or one of her friends at the apartment complex. Kelly already took a deal in this case and she's serving a 44 year prison sentence. She pleaded no contest to reckless child abuse resulting in death as well as several other charges. Gonzalez is facing reckless abuse of a child resulting in death.